Good day, wonderful skiers. In this video, I'm going to show you a progression of tricks that leads to the only trick you ever need to know in skiing, the 360 tail grab. In order to nail the 360 tail grab, the first thing we gotta learn is a shifty. And it's a rad trick by its own. The important thing here is that you want to have the arms forwards out to counterway the skis. Then you just pop. And the rotation of the feet comes from the ankle, knee, side of the hip socket. Avoid using the hip in the beginning, but you can also twist the hip a little bit too, to add more style. So, let's do some shifties now. Arms far out and ready. Nice. Oh. The main common mistake people have when learning a shift is they ride right towards a jump and then like set off a 180. That's completely wrong. You just need to jump up and then twist. Jump and have a little pause before you twist. Because if you twist the feet that way, you're naturally gonna throw equal mass the opposite direction and then back. Because if you try to twist the whole body, you're screwed. If you find it difficult to learn freestyle skiing by your own, maybe join one of our freestyle camps and we'll correct your mistakes. Start it up. Step two is that you have to learn a steezier shifty, where you pop, do that shifty, but you also drop that knee down and that heel up. It can look like this. You only need to look towards the right, and boom, you got the tail there. So it's gonna be super easy to get the tail grab in the next run. All right, let's shifty down. Remember to drop that knee down to the normal ski position. Yeah, almost at the tail, right in the face. All right, let's learn how to tail grab. There's a lot of things going on with a shifty, dropping the knee, up with the heel, and then look towards the tail. And grab it here for tail grab, on the top for a blunt. Blunt is the sickest form of tail grab because it's the most difficult to get because you easily slip off. And I suggest you just start with the right hand if you're right-handed or left hand if you're left-handed or whichever feels right to you. If you've done the previous exercises, the tail grab will be easy, just like this. One of the main common mistakes when people are learning tail grabs is that they forget about the shift in the dropping of the knee. They just jump and then kind of put the tail up and then try to get it somewhere. And it's usually a big mess. So remember, get that twist forwards and up. And it's really easy to grab it just here on the side of your body. You can also try shifting with an iron cross just to practice the ski you want to grab for me, I want to grab with the right hand. The right ski is the one that's on the bottom, like such. Because the grab you, the ski you're kind of grabbing, it kind of helps to keep it a bit tidy. When you do, if you do it the opposite, that you easily kind of separate the skis like this, and it looks kind of ugly. Let's learn how to spin and get these tail grabs. For some, it can be too much to deal with both poles and trying to get this kind of difficult grab. So you can practice this with or without poles. I'm gonna do it with. A little bit of grabbing and spinning terminology. Let's say I'm spinning this way. We have to call that the leading shoulder, the leading hand, because it's leading the rotation. It's kind of rotating first. 
this if I do a tail grab, spin to the left and grab it with the left hand, like such. That would be a leading tail grab. And the advantages of that one is that you can kind of just leave the tails behind, grab it. I feel like it affects the rotation less, like it slows down the rotation less, because this arm can still have quite a strong wrap pulling it in and then getting that grab. But if I spin to the left and then use this hand, the trailing, the hand that's kind of left behind the rotation, is more blind to get the grab. So you have to use the shifty technique a lot. And once you get it, the pro of doing this is that it feels like the rotation stops in time a little bit for a brief moment before speeding up again. They look completely different, these two techniques. And it's so exciting, they feel so different, grabbing leading versus trailing hand. So I suggest you learn both. 180 trailing, so this is what I think about. I basically wind up a little bit of rotation. Remember, don't twist too much, just a little bit. Pop, set it off. Have a little bit of delay. Engage that shifty, drop that knee. And I'll see the landing down there and the tail. I just grab, wait for it, and then bring that knee forward, boom, and stomp it. It feels fantastic. No sound I'm gonna spin my feet much quicker. All right, let's spice it up further and see if we can learn how to 360 tail grab trailing. This is what I think about. You first of all have to spin a fair bit faster than without a grab because the trailing tail grab slows down the rotation quite a lot. So I have a nice wind up, set it off pretty hard and I don't plan to get the tail grab before almost 270, around here. I get the tail, time kind of freezes for a little moment and then I let go of the tail and spot the landing and kind of just let the skis catch up because the skis are turning slower than the body due to that shifty. And it's also a good idea to learn 360 shifties before attempting this. Damn good. <laughs> Too small jump. The main common mistake I see people do when trying to learn this is the same as on the tail grab. They set off the 360, they try to get the grab, they just kind of put the ski up here, trying, fumbling, trying to find it somewhere and don't get it. You really need that shifty, boom, get it. And it feels awesome. Now let's talk about how to 180 with a lead tail grab. For me, it makes sense to show it from the back first. So I'm skiing towards the jump this way. Nice chill wind up, pop. And I just leave the skis like this until I see the tail. Use the back of the leg to bring that tail up and grab it. You land a 180. What is tricky about this is the following that you're actually quite blind here, because the landing is that way. You're almost looking up the hill until you see the landing. It's kind of weird. You see the landing over the shoulder here. That blind little moment is quite scary, but I think it's a good thing to practice to feel really blind for a moment and relax and have faith in the fact that you're gonna land perfect. You'll stomp. Let's do 180, leading tail. For me, I have to grab with the left hand. Make sure you practice that first before doing this. Let's get it. <laughs> oh, yeah, that didn't go so great. 
You can always choose, grab with your good hand or spin in your good direction. And I don't have time to make my left spin with the right hand grab look steezy. So I'm gonna spin a natural so I get to grab with my better hand. That way I think I could make this look decent. Practice many lead 180 tail grabs first before moving on to 360. Obviously, let's think about the 360 now. I ski towards the jump this way, so landing is this way. Set it off pretty hard as well because the grab is slowing us down, leaving those tails behind. Just dropping that knee down, use the back of the leg to get the tail nice and high. Get it, and then you can see the landing so well while keeping the tail grab in you can hold on to the tail much longer which feels great But the difficulty of doing lead, I find, is that when I do that, I kind of accidentally often drop the shoulder a little bit and almost cork it. While when I grab trailing, I find it easier to pop and go a little bit forward to so have like a normal straight 360. So I'm gonna try to calm everything down, be nice and smooth, and it'll be all okay. But I think it looked all right. Uh, do you like my spread it? I landed a little tail heavy on both of the 360s because I'm not so good at it. I actually had a little bit of carve off the jump, just a little bit, because I thought that would add a bit more style and fluidity. But then I got back seated, I couldn't really uncork it. So now I'm going to actually cork it a little bit more. And as I go for that tail, I'm like, kind of pinch in here, I'm just going for it. And in combination with that carve, it's gonna create a little wobble, I hope. Better landing. Thank you for watching. YouTube doesn't really show these advanced videos to all of you. So please hit the bell icon and we might do more advanced videos like this because you will be shown the video. See you in the next one. Ciao.